Guys Racing, and today we're going to do a cool little comparison on the channel. We are going to kind of see, we're going to drive each other's cars, and we're going to give you all our thoughts on um, uh, if we think um, uh, Jared's car obviously, you know, costs more. It's newer. His is a premium, mine is a base, and the difference in cost is actually about twenty thousand dollars. Not sticker for sticker, but for what I gave for mine and what he, you know, like his car stickers for. So like a lot of people did, you know, he got a pretty good deal on his, but a lot of people do pay MSRP for the 18s and 19s now, especially. And so I'm gonna let him drive my car first, and he's gonna give me his, you know, basic thoughts. Obviously, he had a 15 50 before, so he's very familiar with it. But the difference being, mine is cloth. But you know, mine is tuned and stuff, and so like we're gonna talk about the prices and stuff that's done to him. And like you know, his car is completely stock; it's 2018 for right now. And so I'm gonna drive that, and give you my thoughts about it, and see if it's worth like the upgrade, the extra money you had to pay. So here we go. Here we go. So what you think? It's been a minute since you've been in one of these. <laughs> it's been, been a minute. But you know, I, I guess I'm I'm still kind of used to it. Where, but and even in, like my car, it feels so much different having all those gears you know? so the gearing is definitely i feel like improved like tremendously from the 6p versus the a10 which you know is, makes sense that's why they switched over to it but the ride pretty much the riding's the same the suspension and all that his handles a little better it's got a little bigger tires uh, the engine wise i mine i feel the top end is just so much better it's you know it's got the 10 gears i'm in third gear at 50 and that's really where my car hits the most and his car would still be in second compared to my me being in third so but the torque and torque right now where my car's not tuned is so much more torque here. Is the throttle response better? Throttle response is better. Paddles, the shifting, the paddles, I think it stayed pretty much the same, you know. The, uh, like mine is tuned, so you know, like my car shifts, I feel like, about like what your car should like in, all the time, you know, because where yeah. mine don't have another mode, my car shifts about like what his shifts like in just normal mode. His drag mode is just Crazy. ridiculous. It's chirps them in every first through third yeah but say like you were in the market for one and you didn't have 40 grand realistically to spend on a premium 18 would you consider one of these still oh yeah i think it's good value for money like i gave about twenty six thousand for this car with four thousand miles on it so and it already had a roush cold air intake a roush exhaust and a roush tune on it so obviously i've done more but I think for what I gave for it, it was very good. Definitely worth it. I mean, for you to not know that all this stuff was already on it. Yeah, definitely that too. Which the dealer really didn't know that it was on it. Yeah. And you get those sometimes though. But for the price, I've seen 15 through 17 S550 cars, performance pack, used with under 10,000 miles on it with, you know, already exhaust intakes stuff like that for like i've seen one i've seen uh one as low as 21 grand it's crazy they're starting to come down <laughs> they are very 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 good values for money because like yeah everyone talks about the 18 you know how fast they are and the, that's true trust us we we he's had a full bolt on other than an intake manifold 2015 car on the 85 and his 18 is faster from the factory so you know there's that but definitely good value for money so we'll go switch i'll go drive his and we will let you know what we think there because the like i said the difference really being is you know like the same platform it's just the 18s move forward a little bit but you know my car has stuff done to it and you know even with the stuff done to it it's still coming in at a much lower price point so it's it really you know does depend on what you want but i'm going to give you my thoughts you can get you can get boosted 15 through 17 cars for basically what you can get a stock 18, 18 for. for so there's so, that too which you know uh lebanon beachmont perform what's that one street yeah, speed both of them they they all offer you know seven eight hundred horsepower for 39 grand with a warranty with a warranty so that's huge we're gonna do a i'm gonna do a third gear pull for 50 in his car and then he'll do one for my car just to see, to see the gearing and the difference of that would be so we get straighten up here Crazy. The 10 speed 
six. So he's got 355s. I've only got 315 gears in the rear end. So his car, no matter what, like his second gear and my second gear, I bet my second gear goes another 20 miles an hour over what his goes. I think your second, what's your second gear? 40, 45? Yeah. My second gear goes almost to 80. And that, they both rev the same amount. I think mine might rev 100 RPM more. Yours what, 74? Mine's 75. Yeah. So it's crazy to see. But we'll show you all the next one. Also, guys, the key on the 2018 Mustangs is incredible looking. So it's much better than the 15 through 17 cars. So another upgrade. All right, guys. So driving Jared's now. And first things first is you know he has a premium. So his interior is much nicer. His steering wheel on the 18s, it's full leather. It's much better feeling, feel wise. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the car it looks exactly the same as it. You know, it pretty much any other. 15 and up Mustang. His does have Apple CarPlay, which I like. And um, uh, uh, he's got a digital speedometer they introduced in the 18s, which I also like. But the, the transmission, guys, is just, it's leaps and bounds ahead. I drove this car, I've been lucky enough to drive a few 18s, and I drove his car two or three times. But I mean, just. It's crazy that it, it you know, it, it shifts so smooth like that and you flip a toggle three times and I mean, it, it breaks your neck. It's it's really incredible, you know, the 10-speed the is that much better. It helps out with gas mileage, like right now, like we're in eighth gear, going 29 miles an hour. That is crazy. And so, like, we're, you know, we're just cruising around in the city right now. But his car, like I said, does handle just a little bit way, more waywardly than mine. Like, I can tell just from kind of doing this, like his isn't so much as point squirt, I guess would be the term. Cause he's got these little, real skinny all season tires but um for a stock car all s550 mustangs handle fairly well you know they're not like six gen camaro well but the independent rear end and the six gen mustang helps out a lot uh, his engine is still torquey but not quite as torquey feeling i don't think as mine i don't know if that's so much the the actual power of the engine or just the fact that he doesn't have a tune like see like transmission if you just stab it that's cool it just down shifts all the way to the lowest gear so your brakes are also a little seem like they don't they don't yeah. screech like mine because it's got such big tires so guys the, the main question you know of this argument of us driving each other's cars is is the 18 worth realistically you know 15 to 20 grand more than a, a comparable ish s550 you know now like my car's base so obviously a premium car is about four thousand dollars more anyways and you know premium 15 through 17 and premium 18 without the digital dash there is no difference the only difference being on the gauges they had this thing called a halo which you can change the color of that surrounds them the sun is very bright because they're currently being blinded but that doesn't uh you know if if all you want is just you know leather and stuff this you know, a 15 through 17 is going to do you just fine. The the main sticking points of the 18 are the better engine and the better transmission, because nothing else is different. It's that's you know the fact of the matter. Now you can get a digital dash like you know a fully loaded $50,000 2018 Mustang or 2019 Mustang, but at that point, I think Jared would agree too. It's definitely not worth twice what my car's worth. You know, like what I paid for my car. Now his car sticker for what 44 basically yeah. 44 so like right at fifteen thousand dollars more than mine and um i think it, it's probably not worth every single penny of that but like for like we're not gonna say like what he got it for but what he got it for you know several thousand dollars off thanks to deals and stuff i do actually think that the 18 is a better better car that but again like because I didn't spend as much money on mine, that has allowed me to do stuff to it. Like, you know, uh, we're blessed, you know, we, we're not poor by no means. Obviously, we drive new vehicles and can get stuff, but you know, it's like Jared right now is saving up a little so he can do more than like just one thing at a time. It does have the mod right now in though that we're gonna get put on here soon, hopefully. So stay tuned for that. But coming up guys here, I'll do a, again, we'll do a third gear from 50.
second to what his is in third right there and they hit <clears throat> similarly but this car is gonna eventually go past my car there's just, i mean that's just the fact of the matter the 18s are that fast now you know you can argue all day about like what happened to you on the internet or what you've seen on facebook about the street races and stuff but the 18s are faster i mean you know it, it takes a lot jared knows this too obviously he had a 15 car like we said to go low 12s let alone 11s in a 15 or 17 car Full these, well these cars go 11s with a tire you know even some of them stock the performance pack cars on those better michelin ps4 tires so you know, like, if I, if money was no object, I, Jared obviously would agree, I would get an 18. But if you're on a budget, 15 through 17 cars aren't, what you would say, that much worse. And, you know, like, it, some people might even like 15 through 17 cars because they're a little bit simpler. You know, it's just, it's just six gears. Six R80s are proven. They, you know, there's guys all the time that take those transmissions to 1,000 real horsepower. They hold, so... The 10 R80s, you know, people are pushing the limits of them. They seem to be holding pretty well so far. They had a couple things wrong with them, but that happens to anything when it first comes out. And uh, I'll tell you this, the 10-speed, you could not, after driving a 10-speed, you could not convince me that a stick shift is better. I, I know Jared would say the same thing, but you just can't. Uh, there, there's no comparable way. So, again, Jared and I agree that, or I know, think at least that, this car is worth definitely worth more than like my car is it worth you know the exact premium of msrp versus msrp probably not but that's a lot due to inflation you know cars prices go up but i definitely do think it is worth it and for what he got it for i think it's tremendously worth it and anybody that could get such a good deal on a 2018 i think you should jump on it don't you that's i mean that's exactly what i did I, it was it was either that or fix my car yeah and the price to fix my car evened out to be well, actually would have been a little bit more a little bit more than what it would cost me to just trade up so obviously you know made the smart decision and another thing you know you have to do what is financially suitable for you to do you know we're we're lucky we don't have any kids don't have anybody else to really support besides ourselves hope not <laughs> not that we know of <laughs> but um so we can afford you know to spend a little bit more money you know things that we like and that what we like are cars and so we're very blessed to do what we do we have fun making videos for you guys so it's been fun your car your car drives good it kind of makes me want one it'll do it yeah. i test drove one and that was it uh, the the steering wheel doesn't get enough credit this this thing feels awesome it's amazing it does feel really good so that's about that guys yeah so here's drag mode this is what makes it all worth it Basically, if you got the money, spend it on the 18. It's worth it. It's worth it's worth whatever, you know. You if you buy if you went to buy a new 15 through 17, there's still some out there. They're they're going to be in the 27 range still, 28. You can buy a base, even a base 18 for that. You can buy 30 grand. I've seen them marked down as low as what? What do we see? 28. Well, once it was 29, 28 nine, so 29 grand basically. But if you don't. You can get used 15 through 17s right now, low 20s easy. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's 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 still a great car. It's they're proven. You know, I've had one. He has one currently. Yeah, you're looking at two guys between us. We're 20 years old each, and we've had five S550 Mustangs combined. So we're we're almost experts now. So <laughs> it's definitely worth it. it it's, this is by far and away the best one that we've had, even though. Personally, you know, like I'm obviously I love my white one. Jared even loved his yellow one. Yeah. But the, like you know, the the loudness is always cool. The you know the throttle response and like you get so used to a car after a while, it, it really does you know grow on you. And like he's getting used to this one. It's just got 2,700 miles on it. Have you had it a month? Right at a month. Right at a month. So you know, four or five weeks he's only had this, and so he's he's still getting used to this one. And he's got the bug already. Like like we said, we we got a little mod coming. So gonna make a <laughs> gonna make a video he's been saving up all summer and stuff so we're back in college we're sorry we don't get to make many videos together like I said he goes to college about an hour and a half two hours away from where I do and so we try to get together on the weekends as much as we can but what are we doing this week 
Mustang week. We're leaving out Thursday sometime. Thursday morning. Pretty early. So we're hoping to be there like midday and uh, possibly going to do a, we got a couple cool videos coming. We got some reviews we're going to do down there. And uh, it should be a good time. All three of us get to go, so that's going to be fun. Me, Jared, and Wade. So we're going to be wearing our shirts. We'll be there at the YouTuber meet on Friday night at Hooters beside the mall. Starts at 8.30, I think. So come out and see us. You know, we'd love to meet everybody. It's going to be a great time. There's, there's going to be thousands of Mustangs there and hopefully even more thousands of people. Uh, that's, you know, really what it's about, get to meet the people. Obviously, get to see the cool cars and stuff and drive some stuff, but we're excited, so... Stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop this video a like. We hope it helps you all out because we personally know, you know, like when Jared was considering upgrading, he was like, well, should I just, you know, spend a little bit of money on my car, make it right, and then save up, you know, for the rest of the year and maybe go boost in his, his 15 yellow car. And like, you know, that would have been awesome. But guys, we, we have seen firsthand some full bolt on 85, 18 cars outrun boosted s550 like 15 through 17 cars so you know up to a certain point in mexico but again guys just like just to reiterate one more time if you've got the money to get an 18 it is worth it if you don't have the money to get an 18 you still want a fast really fun reliable car get a 15 through 17 mustang they they ride the same they drive just about the same it's just the transmission is that much better the engine is obviously better but Maybe I'm, uh, I'm going to steal a part off of Jared's engine in an upcoming mod here pretty soon. We might have to have a little rematch, but his car is awesome. I appreciate him letting me drive it, and congrats to all you 18 owners out there. I know you all love them, and so we will catch you on the next one, guys, but until then, peace out.